No song? This will be a disaster! So, uh, we're, we're not gonna do a music video this year. Boring! No, we decided we're not gonna do a video this year. Seriously? I even practiced my dance moves. So, we're not gonna do a music video this year. No music video? Thank you, Jesus! So what's the song this year? Um, we decided not to do a song. For real? So what's the song this year? Uh, we're not gonna do a song this year. So, we're not gonna do a music video this year. What? I had my all I had in a video! Steyer, I am pumped. What song did you pick to do this year? Um, we're not gonna do a song this year. What? We're not doing a song? I'm out of here! Hey, I'm the new guy. Are we doing a music video this year? No, we're not gonna do one this year. Do not let Mr. Steyer make any more videos. That was mean. I know, right? All right, Ada High School, you know, I've been trying to get you to read books as long as I've been here. I've done all kinds of things to do that. I would like to propose to you, however, that perhaps some of the best lessons you've learned in life, you've learned from a children's book. So let's go through some of them. How about Horton? You remember Horton Here's a Who? He taught us the importance of standing up for those that need our help. What about the rainbow fish? You remember him? He taught us that sharing makes everybody's life better. How about the giving tree? The giving tree taught us about generosity and selflessness. I think you probably all remember the Bernstein Bears. They taught us a little bit of everything. Some teamwork, how to deal with friends, all kinds of things. More recently, maybe you saw the movie or read about Augie, and he taught us the importance of being kind. I would suggest to you that this might be the best book you pick up um, to learn about sacrifice, forgiveness, and the best love story you'll ever read. So, Ada High School, I would like you to turn off the TV, turn off the cell phone, and crack open a book. Keep reading, Ada High School. Weight room is open, nine o'clock, hashtag savage. Stop trying to be like everyone else. The things that make you strange are the things that make you powerful. And I've had four wonderful jobs in education, and I know for sure that I didn't get those jobs by being like all the other candidates. I got those jobs by being different, by standing out in some way. So stop spending your time and energy trying to be like everyone else and embrace who God made you. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, but it's learning to dance in the rain. So there are a few things that I've learned from teaching math that I want to pass on to you as advice in your life. The first thing is you have to have a sense of humor to get through those daily challenges. So first I explained to my students that five out of four people have a problem with fractions. Then I also explained to them that there are two kinds of people, those who can extrapolate from incomplete data and, of course, don't be like this guy, the asymptote, who says, I'm not touching you. But I've also learned that everybody is facing some kind of challenge. And so with your sense of humor, you have to be kind. You never know what somebody else is going through. And so when given the choice between being right and being kind, as we learn from reading the book Wonder, Augie learned, choose kind. I went to the doctor the other day. I looked at him and I said, you know, I'm pretty sure I broke my leg in two different places. And he looked at me and he said, well, first of all, I would never go to either of those places ever again. Pat Riley, who's won multiple NBA championships as a coach, once said, if you have a positive attitude and constantly strive to give your best effort, eventually you will overcome your immediate problems and find you are ready for greater challenges. I would just encourage you to bring a positive attitude to everything you do and assume the best in the people around you. Always use your noodle and go out into the world and be a smart cookie.
You seniors, I want to say good luck to you with your next step of life. I've made so many memories with all of you, whether it be dances, softball, um, volleyball. You guys have made history in the record books up on a wall, and your names will be up there forever. But most of all, you've made an impact in our hearts here at Ada. Um, you've been a great source of information for all of our kids, whether it be academically, athletically, or musically. And it fills my heart with sadness to see you guys go. But I'm excited to see where this next step takes you. And I look forward to you guys coming back to Ada and letting us know where you're at. Bryce, what you doing? I'm signing out. I'm 18. I don't care if you're 82. Until I hear from a parent, you're not going anywhere. Essayez encore. Ratez encore. Ratez mieux. Miss Pfeiffer, I want to use the phone. What's the magic word? You don't need a license to drive a sandwich. The light of God surrounds you. The love of God enfolds you. The power of God protects you. The presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is, and all is well. Amen. Most of what I really need to know about how to live and what to do and how to be, I learned in kindergarten. These are the things I learned. Share everything. Play fair. Put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. Warm cookies and milk are good for you. And draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work some every day. Live a balanced life. Learn some and think some. Live in such a way that if someone spoke badly about you, no one would ever believe it. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You look up and down streets, look them over with care, and some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. Greetings from the science department. Me and Mr. Lusk are here to kind of share some words of wisdom. Okay, well, at least me. So anyways, first thing, start with a positive attitude. Start your day off good. Smile at people in the hallways. You decide what day you're going to have. Two, be thankful for what you have. You, you just never know. There's somebody out there that's probably got a worse day than you. So make sure you're thankful for the things you do have in life. Three, don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to fail. You just, you never know. You learn something even if you do fail. Right, Mr. Lusk? He was willing to put on a chemistry experiment for me. He's trying, trying to help me out. Well, I, I think I smell something burning, Mr. Lusk. I, speaking of failure, I, I gotta go. Here's a historical quote for you guys. Those that fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it by Winston Churchill. Or was it FDR? Hey, hang on, let me look that up. 2,000 years later. Anyways, it was some famous guy that said some famous quote. That's all you guys really need to know. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. It's that simple. So every day when you get up, put a smile on your face, and know you're already a success, and always, always be thankful. You can spend your time alone redigesting past regrets, or you can come to terms and realize you're the only one who can't forgive yourself. It makes much more sense to live in the present tense. Hold the door, say please and thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie. I know you've got mountains to climb, but always stay humble and kind. When the dreams you're dreaming come to you, when the work you put in is realized, let yourself feel the pride but always stay humble and kind. Don't take for granted the love this life gives you. When you get where you're going, don't forget, turn back around and help the next one in line. Always stay humble and kind. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you're broke, your love life's DOA. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. It hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year. I'll be there for you when the rain starts to pour. I'll be there for you like I've been there before. 
I'll, I'll be, be there, there for you, because you're there for me, too. How you doing? <laughs> oh, Joey! Rest when you're dead. You've got a long time in a box. You might as well use the life you've got while you're here. From the great Milton Berle, who said, I'd rather be a could be if I cannot be an R, because a could be is a maybe who is reaching for a star. I'd rather be a has been than a might have been by far, for a might have been has never been, but a has was once an R. Boy, that Shakespeare was one smart guy. In Hamlet, he writes, to thine own self be true. He's right about that. Don't let the witches get you down. Loser, 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 loser. Don't try to impress those in power. Oh, your majesty. You're super cool. Just be yourself. Don't try to be someone that you're not. Do it. You could be king. Just do it. As my friend Mr. Rogers said, I like you just the way you are. Despacito, quiero respirar tu cuello despacito. Deja que te diga cosas al oído para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo. I have decided to share two quotes with you this evening. One from the world of science, one from the Bible. I thought that was fitting for me. The first one comes from Sir Isaac Newton. And this is, this goes way back. When, when we used to sit next to each other in, we called it alchemy in those days. And Isaac would lean over to me and he would say, Dave, when I get to be the most famous scientist of all time, this is going to be the quote for which they'll remember me always. It's going to be so awesome. And as an aside, if I can tell you, Sir Isaac, you think Sir Isaac rocked the powdered wig look. I really rocked the powdered wig look. I looked awesome with a powdered wig. It was great. Anyway, Isaac Newton once said, if I have seen farther than other men, it is because I have stood on the shoulders of giants. I would urge you, do not forget those people who have gotten you where you are. You have a good foundation provided for you by your parents, your teachers, and many people who have helped you along the way. If you achieve success, it is not only because of your own hard work, but because you've been given a good foundation by those who cared about you. The second quote comes from the Bible, from the book of Philippians. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When we talk about a foundation, let's not forget the foundation. Whatever you do, whatever you want to do, or where you want to go in life, you will be better prepared for that course of action, before that road, if you remember that you can do anything with God by your side. You and God together can do anything and can go great places, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. No stranger